I've gone got the overalls. overalls. This is where all the different things come down. <laughs> Bernard wheeling through. <laughs> Ingredients and things. Same with the crew. <laughs> We're in the showroom. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's Monday morning of Lenza Hide a Week. The boys have got a chain gang going here on a fresh new shipment of Contis, but mainly this is going to be about Motorex. What are we doing today? We're going to see the Motorex factory. Yeah, in Switzerland somewhere. So that's what we're going to be doing once we get this show packed up here in Morzine. Motorex! Yeah, baby. Right, boys are packed yeah, up. Everyone um, off the satellite, and we're good to go. Me. Right, this is where we're off to today. Tell we're getting close. Our guy's loving it. <laughs> <laughs> has no idea. Right? No idea, <laughs> my guy. We'll see you in a bit. Well, you can't miss it. Well, maybe on a small camera you can. But this is the home of Rex, the home of Motrex, the oil of Switzerland. Jeez. What do you reckon, guys? It's looking pretty cool so far. Looking pretty cool. Looking pretty cool. It's a hell of an operation out here in Switzerland. I like the little, what's this, a little windmill. Oh. It's windy out. Holy. We're back with the trusty school bus here at Motorex. I'm actually hyped to go see all this. They're filling tankers up and all sorts. Come in. You're quite known for your train spotting, aren't you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Is it coming? Edward Bourgeois. Oh my God. No, I see it down in the distance. This is David, and he's going to give us a tour of the factory here at Motorex. Let's go, crew. <laughs> Let's check it out. Uh, just in reception or somewhere. Where's Jenna's bike go? Yeah, go get it. By the bus. Base oil tank. So this is kind of. The base material, so that is the tomatoes or the, the meats that go, that go into your bolognese sauce. Huh? How big is one of these tanks? Um, I don't know, but here <laughs> in, in, it's like six million and six six million liters we have. I think. Six yes. million liters of oil going through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, the whole yeah. facility. Yeah. Yeah, That's a lot of liters. And you will Six see million. Yeah, everything is, is quite packed currently because we also got some problems to get resources from from all out all around the world. Post COVID. So we are. So there are 800 different chemicals and ingredients here at Motorex to make all the different oils and things. And then you basically all of it to make it. So if you're missing one, it's just like if you're missing oregano from a meal, you're screwed. So now we are going in and that's where the, the blending happens, huh? So maybe Sick. we are a little bit, we are quite a lot of people so we need to maybe come like one by one but you can just follow me and then we can keep the chance. Some of you got off film as well. We're going into the blending room here. We got... Dude, that mash you up, that will. This is dropping off some product. Holy! This is sick. So you see, like that is kind of where the, the mixing is happening. Yeah, huh? inside. So you can just... That's crazy. Look at all the pumps and mixes. And it's really warm in here. I feel like we're in the boiler room of a shit Yeah. <laughs> so it's quite warm because we need the worms to mix it. Huh? And like in those tanks, so you can, you can actually look. You know, So, oh, it's currently kind of getting mixed, huh? Yeah, you can't see it. It's dark, the oil's getting yeah. mixed. And then, like, they mix it for, like, 5 to 17 hours, depending on what it is. And then you constantly change the temperature, so that it's like creating a, a homogene um, lub lubricant that yet, so that it's not separating again. Huh? Oh, yeah. So you need to go up the temperature, then you add something else, so it's really like cooking, right? So you, you need to know at which temperature you want to add what and so on. So this is happening here, so you see we have different blenders. He said we give the oil a taste if we want to try and work out what it is. And this is where all the different things come down into the tanks to make your different oils. 
Pretty sick, eh, Pookie? Yeah, mate. Oh, Some operation. We're moving on up. We're going to up to the next level for more ingredients and things. They're hot to touch, these things, okay? Really hot to touch. Yes, that's a different, yeah. that's a different place. Oh, Lee. No, I'd be in trouble, hey? <laughs> <laughs> Through the, what color would you call this? Turquoise, green, blue? Motor X green. Motor X green. <laughs> the color? The stock room. Here, that's just like the distribution center. Yeah. So we're doing all the parcels. Yeah, brother, good hustle. So that is kind of the pot packing and then... Wipe clean and some blue. Helmet care. Power clean. Sick little barrels. Oh, some ad blue. You guys do ad blue? Yeah. Can we get some ad blue? <laughs> we need some ad blue. Hook us up. 13 own trucks. So the, yeah, we just passed we one just of your trucks on the motorway. Yeah. We got a video yeah. on the way here. So we have 13 <laughs> different own trucks yeah. and they are kind of getting loaded just here and then they drive across all Switzerland. And like the international distribution is somewhere else. But our aim is to be able to deliver in the whole of Europe within 48 hours. So whole of Europe in 48 hours. That's kind of yeah. We are on the way to, to get there. Nice. Okay, now we can go up. So many barrels. This is the ingredient room. Um, that's the additives, we call them. And, I mean, the, as I said, there are 800 different chemicals we have here. And that's the, one of those barrels can cost up to 15,000 US dollars. One of these could be 15 grand. But it's not one. like the price is not. All, all the time the same, right? It goes up and down. Yeah. And now I show you where wow. some of those barrels, 15 grand. Now we're trying to just guess which ones are expensive. Barrels on barrels on barrels. And the oil prices right now are high. Forklift room. So you see kind of these holes in the ground? Yeah. Now we are up where before the blenders are. So what they do is they, they open that here and then they really put like two liters of that, one liter of that. The magic mixing holes. They are here preparing around the hole different Oh, so they line all the ingredients up around the hole? Yes. So yeah, they go around the hole with all the barrels of different ingredients da -da 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 -da, to get them ready to go down the ingredient hole. Pretty cool. Oh, I look at all that. Drop her in, boy. Kind of that's a middleware mixer. Oh, okay. So you mix it in here and then you mix it again down there. Straight down below, yeah. And here you see everything is cleared exactly. How much should go in? How much is actually? Huh? He's a secret. You don't want your competing brands. <laughs> yeah, you should probably put that too much on salt. <laughs> right, 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 right. like, Pretty no, cool. No, I mean it's not too, uh, too critical. But yeah, yeah. Like, okay, you put six uh, thousand kilogram in, and then you yeah. see how much is already done, and so on. So everything is steered through here. Mixing and machines. Then you see uh, on those red, green, and uh, you see the different blenders. This is the progress of the blend, how far along it is. 30 degrees, 54. The highest stem I'm seeing is 54 degrees. So they've been in this location since 1943, but the building has grown since then. And the company exists since 1917. 1917, oh yeah, I've seen that. One location, 1943. Smells good. What's the smell? Oh yeah, it's smelling all the oil. Yeah, we are producing the oily stuff. So, lubrication. 
and maybe one liter bottles and, and four liter, liter bottles. The one and four liter bottles in here, just in case you can't hear. And the lubricating panel oils and things like that. Yeah, the Moto product. Beautiful. See, that's, that's our uh, bottle robot. robot. Oh yeah. So he's, he's doing nothing else to, to actually put the the four liter bottles on the. On that's the what the robot device. does. But I don't know why he's not working. Currently. Maybe he's on strike. The, or... the robot's on strike. <laughs> I want to see him go. Here he goes. Ah, oh, the robot. We had an issue with the robot. Oh. Oh. Normally he's better. Here we go. Second time lucky for the robot. Yeah. Lucky. I reckon they know, they got tolerance. That's our most produced uh, container. Your most yeah. produced container is this one. Pretty cool. Goes up here, around there, drop down. This little sucker here spins it the right way around, but then they're all uniform direction. And then brim it. You've always got a brim. Putting the oil in here, and then these suckers are going to come out full. So sick. Keep it going. We're getting lids. Run back around. It's a whole production line we're showing you. And then we've got labeling so we can tell you which oil this is right now. We've seen this line from an empty bottle all the way through. Down. Stickers. And then it is gear oil, 1030 gear oil for motos. Yeah, boys. That's what we're after here. So rad. Yeah, so it goes from where we just were into boxes that these guys are packing. Next. Wow. Gets tape. Here it gets printed like. Automatically, you know, the oh, yeah, the barcode here, right? And then here they, they make it, they, they do that. The suction, yeah, I saw a guy over there, he lifts it up. And then they, they pull it off. Chuck it straight on. It's not easy to do it, yeah. yeah. And then it goes out the door to your house. It's yeah. And without any person, the elevator and goes down. Out to an elevator and down. Oh, wait. Oh. This is new, isn't it? This is big barrels. Big, big barrels. These are 200 litre barrels. And we are also doing some 60 litres. Like our main container is this one here. So the, the barrel. And we are doing roughly 120,000 pieces a year of those barrels. 120,000 times 200 liters. This is kind of alpine line that for the mountains have piston TV and the gondola and stuff. And then we have truck line, the farmer line, the different lines. So you see there. And they got truck, farming, everything. So this all gets produced. And we got Swiss line high precision. Farmer line. That's the face of farming. Face of farming. <laughs> he looks pretty stoked. And they got the face of Moto right here. He got a face for everything. We 
got lions above us, barrels below. It's all here. Through to the next dungeon with more pipes, more barrels on the line. 200 litres, over 200 kilos just rolling down the line. So here they fill actually the barrels. Oh, wow. One take uh, like 30 seconds or so. Can we film it up here? Yeah. One barrel's gonna take 30 seconds to fill. That's insane, 200 litres in 30 seconds. Then a little cap. But you also have Manual. So cool. Yeah. Yeah. Throw the caps on, we're ready to go. So with that, we, just, we call that the, like a molting system. Mm. You see that here? This is kind of helping us to reduce kind of the waste <laughs> heavily. And um, we are taking back always like half a litre which is coming back. Which we can again then um, save. That was on time walk, but hopefully not for all of it. It's really impressive. It's cool when we get to go see a sponsored place like this, like the pivot tour, and not like the oil turns up at the pit. It's so rad to see how quick it all gets banged out and how much thought goes into every little bit of a puzzle. And we appreciate getting shown it. The 60 litre mini barrels straight through here. And this is also quite automated, so we have this machine on there, you can have a look. You can see the 60s get filled. Okay. So there is a light. Oh yeah. Get stopped there. He's shown us the automatic light that switches it off. Pretty cool. Yeah. Next hole. All on lasers. It always has been grown and been locked and added and stuff. And now we actually go to the new building, which has been uh, built in 19, uh, 2017. So here we are doing all the oily stuff. And now where we are going, there we are producing everything which is um, danger to Burn, like flammable, highly yes. flammable, yeah. Exactly. The cans so and sprays, yeah. And so you have this part of the building from 1943 and now we're going to the cans and sprays and explosive flammable se section. <laughs> oh, Lee, this is a cool little room. Did you ever wonder? Yeah, well, that can gone in 60 seconds in here. Automated. Would you look at that? Classic European oh, rainstorm work. coming in in the afternoon. Three o'ock. You're going to see it. Built 2017. And here we are producing all the sprays and everything. Now this is kind of the house of our, how do you say that? Housekeeper or how do you say that? Oh yeah, housekeepers. Yeah, so it's important that somebody is always here because if anything is, kind of there is a, is a burn or something, then somebody can react very quickly. So they always have someone so living he's, here. So he's kind of living on our... Uh, that's sick. On our, um, and he likes gnomes, eh? Here. Got some gnomes, some snails. So, and this one... <laughs> it's random. We've got a garage full of bikes. Yeah. So the housekeeper's got some gnomes. This wall would completely break out like this. What? So wait, it's designed. So if something <laughs> happens inside... Yeah. So if there is an explosion, yeah, you know, that is just down. going out. Wow. Wow, so that was a designed in case of fire. That's pretty cool, yeah. <laughs> but the gnome house is getting flattened. <laughs> wow. So this is all kind of special protection, right? You have uh, kind of special like, electricity and everything. And you see, here we cannot go in. 
usually the people are not allowed to go in even with a mobile phone or with a with normal phone just because the, the a minor thing can just make the whole thing explode. So but basically you can just have a look inside. They can look so at it. Here Don't we are worry. producing the spray, but everything which is kind of working with the gas and everything happens inside here. Because these are kind of explosion safe um, doors, right? I hope that last one wasn't time off as well, but this is a cooling tank here. This literally just cools products down because they can burn at such a low temperature. So this is full of water, just cools stuff down over and over. Air filter oil. Oh, I need to ride some motorbikes soon. Yo! So somebody needs to already turn off the, the, the empty water. We're going to label into the can. So many automation machines. Look at it all bang out. Interior cream. We used some of this on the G the other day. We're going backwards along this assembly line. Oh yeah. That's how the gas goes in. That's a hectic room. Dangerous. Motor shine. So sick. And then here you see it. Everything is weighted. And if somehow, weighed, yeah. something is not correct, it's getting picked out here. Yeah. Also if it's not the correct weight, this is bad boy here, it's gonna bang her in the bin. We got none in there today, we're doing good. Oh it smells good. You can see it. It's like from See the next can weigh. Oh yeah. Between about 0.2 and the weights. Yeah, 0.2 is what we're changing. Oh, we got zero. Here at Motor X, they also care about the environment. So we've got trees. We've got some greenery. Keeping the vibe up in here. Right, we're now in the grease section. I mean, they look like little mini paint cans, which are pretty cool. These ones have got little removable lids, but it's the grease section, it's not paint. Because you look at that. The newish machine they have, and we got another plant. Because this allows us to produce a lot of different containers, you know, from like 100 milliliters which is very special, we yeah. didn't do that before. Now we can get to this machine and it has a very special system because it works with kind of um, forms. Form. So they can do loads of different little containers on one machine. Okay. We are, we are putting the stuff into the forms. Oh, so it goes straight into the form, and yeah. That's why we don't need to change this every time we change production. Yeah. You change the, the mold so in the middle. We just change like this mold, yes. Have, yeah. So we have for every product we produce here, we have a special customized mold like that. Because this avoids to then change always the complete like lanes here, yeah. which is very yeah. intense. So is one of these machines expensive? Crazy. <laughs> Crazy expensive machines. Super cool. And then yeah, back here. We change the production, we just change the, the mold. Yeah, so when they do another product, they come back here and get the different molds, the different shaped bottles, containers, or anything they've got. So they can keep one machine for everything. Pretty rad. Mix a thousand liters in like the other warehouse, bring it over here, pump it up, and put it all into these here. They're gonna go through. I think, we're on, I think we're on a break right now, but otherwise they go through down there. Come back out, label up. Yeah, pretty much the same thing. Yeah, just so you can see it here, the product in this one is dot four brake fluid is what's rolling around this machine. So they've just done a whole batch, we just missed that before the next batch goes. We're back on with another batch, here they go. Dot four rolling out. Chug, 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 chug. Slow mode. Yes, they go along here and then the molds drop out the bottom. Like that. The bottoms go on. 
I get labelled here. Look at that. The chug up here. We're going around there and a box over here. We found another Motrex employee as well. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> New employee, Campbell. Look at that swag. <laughs> we need to get some of those. It's cool, eh, Cam? Yeah, it's sick. Pretty cool. Yeah. All right, we're going down. You should know this, you work here. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I worked there for two years. So I started racing. <laughs> right, and the classic Euro stitch ups really got here now. Because, yeah, that will get you. Oh, yeah. That got wet, quick. Yep. Europe. Right, it's the rain run with the crow. <laughs> Awkward, we're not rain. <laughs> and he's gonna have a, a blowout. <laughs> oh, jeez. Everyone. It's pretty wet, pretty quick. We're back. You made it. Thank God. Oh, let's get the crow out of here. Yeah, we should do motorbike laps. Kind of more normal, office looking. Oh, there's air conditioning here. <laughs> this is the lab. So we can't film ingredients in here. Probably not. It's cool, Cam, you got one of these cool signs. Ah, bonjour. <laughs> So, for example, kind of somebody is taking a little bit of noise sample from his construction machine or whatever, and they will send it to us, and then what we are doing is kind of analy analysis of the quality of the oil, so they can see, for example, if there is water in, and whether the machine has a problem, or if there is some rust or, or kind of other materials which shouldn't be there. Or they can also say, yes, the oil is fine, you can further use it. So they are doing a lot of analysis, basically. So we have another lab which is more kind of focusing on the R&D, we will don't see that now, but we have kind of two parts, right? One is analytics and quality control, so whenever we get any products, any resources, we will take a sample, do an analysis on whether the quality is right, and even also before starting any production, we will always take first a sample, get the green light from the lab before we start actually any, any production batch. Huh? So that is done here, so they're, they are quite busy now because currently they're getting all the samples from you know, the, the, the ski stations, you know, from the gondolas, from the piston bully um, piston machines because they are doing now the summer service, so they are getting the samples and they check whether they need to change the oil or anything or whether everything is still fine. So if you do that, obviously you can also kind of do prevention because you see maybe that with your engine something is wrong so this is a service we, we offer to the customers not too much in the in the bike <laughs> uh, yeah, with the heavy machine this is uh, heavy machinery it comes okay. with it no, so quality control yeah, it's good that's good that's yeah. a good service yeah. labor right. Right. Uh, so you need a quality yeah. control the tanning oil <laughs> <laughs> BC oh. cheers brother <laughs> my man so here is all the army Okay, this is really cool. We total 17 different chemists and one biologist, which are working here on the different recipes we need for our products. So I think we have currently roughly 2,500 different uh, products. And now, especially in times where we fight against, you know, not having this or this ingredient, they are constantly busy in finding alternatives, checking whether another ingredient would also work to create the same effect. So this is all done here, and that was actually also built on top, now we are on the fourth floor, because in case something would happen, uh, the explosion would just... You know, go oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's saying there's wrong explosions going up. So two and a half thousand products, and 17 chemists, kind of and one biologist. There we kind of you know, to get all our customers, we have the different lines which are properly presented here, so you can just bar. have a look. So sick up here, cool little products. This is pretty cool, little old jukebox kind of looking thing. Look how much these guys are doing. So rad to see in person. Thanks for bringing us along. Old oil cans. We got five DLs, demi-liter. 
I like the oil cans. Look at that one, the square. What? Did you see that? That's sick. We got some motor oil, we got some guys, we got some motorbikes. What a classic one. It's so sick, all this cool stuff. Yeah, yeah the classic one's so, so cool. Right? cool. I know. We got heavy duty, regular, supreme. Some cool branding going on over there. Very cool. What have we got here then, Chunky? What is this? It's an engine. Gearbox. This is an engine. System. Yeah, we're just testing Eddie. Flywheel? No. Water pump. Good. Yeah, water pump. I knew what the water pump was. Is that uh, the spark plug goes? Have hey, coil pack? Yeah. No coil pack? Yeah. What's that, Eddie? Uh, we didn't actually get to that. Cam chain. There we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know, man. Mm. Is it the intake? Oh, come Let's on, I, it, I but... brought that out. What is it? Start the oh. motor. Start running. Oh, 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 I thought I'd crash into a side. Bro, we got here, Eddie. Show me this one. What's this one? Um, <laughs> Gina needs to know this one. Gear shifter. Know, That's a gear shifter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know why I know that? Manual. <laughs> you drive manual, baby. Yeah. Clutch packs, Whoa. A, B, C, D. You got clutch packs, you've you got your transaxle. If you got planetary gears. <laughs> wow, the guy <laughs> knows what he's up to. Or he could be saying anything. Yeah, 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 we'll believe yeah, it. We're going to reach my Yeah. You can try some. Double rhombus. Double rhombus. You literally could be telling us that. I might have been. But it sounded convincing. Yeah, there's a digital parallelogram up here. <laughs> All right, did we lose wow. him? <laughs> we've picked up some sick new Motrex branding while we're here. It's my new hat for the week, so we're That's good so to go. It's pretty fun. Yeah, I know. We like it. <laughs> Thanks, Martin. <laughs> Bernard wheeling yeah, through. through the factory. <laughs> the factory soon. No, the like, crowd is going wild. You're doing such a bad job. It looks like Eddie's bike has I rolled know. into the building. Who's, who should do the wheelies? Very Depending on whose bike came in. Oh yeah, then it's Eddie's bike. Eddie's, Eddie's bike. Eddie's bike. Eddie's, Eddie's got to do it, hasn't he? Yeah, You're sure. not going to do it, really, because it's Ben's no, bike. It's not my bike. It's not. It's not no, Cam's bike. I'm not allowed to touch it, you know. Yeah, it Cam says. I don't know how to wheelie, man. Let's see it, brother. Right, Martin. Benny's really. Eddie's bike is being prepped by his mechanic as we speak. He's going. I can't do it, mate. I can't do it. I'm sorry. He's going over. The boys are getting it polished up. It's got Eddie's pedals on, he's got it. Oh, I can't ride Shimano pedals, I'm a crank brothers guy. Have, I don't have the right um, I'm shoes on. I don't to have, ride different pedals. Nah, I don't have the right <laughs> shoes on. It's looking good. It's not looking good, we've got Eddie Masters on the stickers here. I, like, I can't read that. We've got the, the wrong pedals for me, the wrong grips. Yeah. It looks like Eddie Masters sorry. is the wheel. He's got the bike! <laughs> here he is! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm refusing to wheel it. Eddie, you left Eddie, something you behind. <laughs> You're spineless, yeah. Ed. You're spineless. <laughs> you left it behind. I don't, I don't trust my ability to Check out the sick old cowie in the showroom. Things are hog. Old 252 stroke. And we got Caroli's <laughs> bike in here. It looks used. Could be, um, could be one. We're going in the barrel elevator. It doesn't have many it can take three minutes. 12.50 kgs it can take. Oh, easy. Just go down, yeah. It goes outdoors in a minute. Oh, wait. Didn't see you guys coming. We're telling it. 1,250 kilos is all we can fit, so. 350. 12.50. Okay, Joel. Oh, this is quite nice. We're in a motor spin. You ready for this? <laughs> I think so, as soon as we drop out this thing. Oh wait, what? Oh no. Oh no, we're just in a big barrel. Ah. I think mean, it's more impressive outside. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the lift we actually just came down in. It's, it's such a cool barrel. We're just in the Motor X barrel lift. Pretty dope. We got a girl Emily here. She's coming along for the last part of the tour and now we're going to move the bus in front of the huge barrels and get a sick photo. We bust him. But the helm of the barrel's now going up. Near the barrels. They're so gnarly. Let's 
get that pastry out of here. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Yeah. Right, the bus is out of here. It's off the lens of Hyder. Laters! The bus leaves the Motorex headquarters. Useful. Yeah, but I've got right, we're in the motor shop and we get one thing each. What are you going for, guys? Overalls. You're getting overalls. I reckon Jen and A get the overalls. I kind of want this like sculpture. What am I going to do with them though? <laughs> You'd use them in a mud day. It's a rare and priceless mower. It's a hard call. Freaky, what have you got? Just yes. Classic tea. Classic tea. Yeah, but double XL tea too. Oh, okay. The old Motorex hats. I could just go for a sweater vest, you know. Not mad at it. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go for a polo. A polo's a better decision. The polos are me. Yeah, the polos are a smart decision. <laughs> Wax, any thoughts? Dude, is, I'm overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. <laughs> right, so we've got polos, beanies, polos, golfers. I've got, got the, the overalls. overalls. I'm just going to track walk in them for us. <laughs> so yeah. it's going to be looking good. Right, and if you're in Lagantau, you can cruise in and buy your Motorex products right in here. Classics, normal, stock, mod, whatever you're after. Bike. Bike, right, anywhere near in Switzerland. Cruise by the store here at Motorex. Buy your merch, your Swiss Army knives, whatever you want. Mate, Fred's party girl's a bit of us. Right, to... Someone's had a mare at Fred's party grill. Right, should we sign this off? That's the Motorex headquarters tour. We've got our shopping. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you in Lenza Hyde. I hope you enjoyed watching and seeing the production lines. And that's pretty much it for now. See you next time. Peace. The hole and then take it out. Last minute, it's how you drill for oil. It's a drilling head for oil. So they got one of these bad boys here. Pretty cool. It's literally painted gold because it makes, <laughs> makes gold. That's pretty cool.